Hi friends, thanks for joining us on the Stay Connected. You know, this time of year, Christmas time, is just such a busy time, there's so much going on. And just like this time of year and any other time, sometimes it's so difficult to have our mind in the right place. In Philippians, we're encouraged in chapter two, verse four, let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Whose mind is your mind on? Today, it's so easy for our minds to be on ourselves. It's, we're self-focused. We're focused on my choice, my identity, my dreams, my goals, my hopes, my health, my well-being, my stuff, my fame, my reputation, my life. But scripture tells us that we should have the mind of Christ. Jesus, his mind was not on himself. His mind was on others and on the glory of God. In Matthew chapter 16, it says, From that time Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, that he must suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed and be raised on the third day. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him and said, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to him, Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. It's so easy for us to be focused on ourselves, on the things of men rather than things of God. What does it look like to have the mind of Christ? We look at the life of Jesus. He fed others. He took care of others. He talked with others. He listened to them. He healed others. He ministered to them. He gave of himself of his time. He laid down himself for others. He laid down himself on the cross and sacrifice for us so we could have a relationship with God. And so we're encouraged not to think about just our own things and our own benefit, our own desires, our own increase, but the increase of others, the benefit, the blessing of others. And so this is something that I want to focus on that that we should focus on is having the mind of Christ, putting others first, putting God first. So three things here is that having the mind of Christ, that we should look for ways to increase others, to bless them, to minister to them, to reach out to them, to share with them, to do what we can. Not just in sharing the gospel, but helping at home, helping at church, at work, doing a little more, showing that we care about others because Christ in us cares about them. Secondly, that we should look for ways to increase Christ, to bring glory to him, the way that we live our lives, the way that we do things, the way that we see things and say things. And thirdly, like it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 14, that we would do all things without complaining and disputing. Number three, that, that we would do this without complaining. And for me, myself, this is so difficult and challenging is living a life of service without complaining and we hear so many people complain today and complaining shows that we're ungrateful that we feel that we deserve more God has given us so much that we don't deserve his love his forgiveness he puts us before himself pray this would encourage you as we think about having the mind of Christ and that we would just glorify God in these things Lord thank you for this time together thank you Lord that you think about us, that you put us first, you lay down your life for us. Help us, Lord, to think of others, Lord, to not just look out for our benefit, our blessings, but for others, and to look out, Lord, for your interests, the way we live our lives, that we would think about what pleases you. And Lord, thirdly, that you would help us to live this life, Lord, without complaining when we do, Lord, that we would just ask you to forgive us. Thank you for this time together. May you bless everyone that watched tonight. God bless you and thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you Sunday. God bless.